Hi guys, as you can see here, I have upgraded my monitor to uh, a really wide screen. It's 21.5 inches and the module is Samsung um, SyncMaster P2270. It's really great and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I got it for my birthday. Yeah. And um, on this video, I'm not going to be writing about my monitor, although on a video of mine, um, Windows Live Messenger Alternatives for Linux. Um, someone has asked me a question. And R Rizal Lafari has asked me, I'm new to Ubuntu and I have no idea how to install AMSN. I really want to, but I have no damn idea. Please help me out, would you? Thanks in advance. And I'm going to um, use this chance to um, talk a little bit about managing um, applications on Linux. And it's really, really easy. The f there are many different ways to do this. The first way is to go to System, Administration, and Software Sources. Now this will manage which which ap list of applications um, will be available. So take all these, download from the internet, take everything here, uh, except from source code of course, take everything here, and then down from when it where it says download from, go to other, and then select your country and the mirror nearest and closest to you whereas I press cancel and that will manage all the list of applications which w will be available so that's really it next so go, go to applications and then add slash remove which could be renamed but it's add, add slash remove here yeah. and this is the default um, application manager for Ubuntu and it's really really neat on the left here you can manage categories of applications on top of here where it says show make sure it, you, it's all available applications on default it's conical maintained applications which will, will not give you all the the, the most um, applications the most variety of applications so make sure all available all available applications is selected. All you need to do in this search field is to search for the application you want to install. If you want AMSN, search for AMSN. And for while, it will it say application AMSN AMSN mes Messenger for Linux. And we say a uh, brief description, a very nice MSN compatible, and it will link to the home page. All you need to do to install is take this little button here, go to the very bottom, click apply changes, then click apply here. It will install AMSN. Although I do not have I do not want it now, so I'm just gonna cancel this. And when it install AMSN it will appear under the applications arranged in one of these categories, which is very simple. To uninstall applications you have already installed, untick the application. Uh, untick the application that has already been has already been ticked. C click apply changes. It will uninstall the application you want to. That's add slash remove. The next thing is Synaptic Package Manager, which can be accessed through System Administration. Synaptic Package Manager. Now this is a different tool from Edge slash Remove because this actually manage individual packages instead of um, managing application itself. So if I search for a MSN, of course it will take a while. Uh, here it says package AMSN. I right click it, I mark for installation. You say you have to mark you these um, extra packages is required for the installation of AMSN. On add slash remove, 
it doesn't say this because it only manage manages the um, individual applications. This manages individual packages. Now this is very um, useful if you want to um, manage some individual applications. All you need to do is right click something and then hit hit apply. It will apply the changes. If you want to uninstall some applications, you right click the applications which has to be installed. So see if I search for Firefox, which hopefully here Firefox here. The box is in green. I just right click, um, mark for complete removal, that, and then hit apply. That will apply the changes by uninstalling application. And this tool is useful if you want to manage app um, packages such as um, Java, something, or MS Core for Microsoft fonts or poetry fonts and just manage individual packages whereas slash remove only manages applications and not individual packages and discard changes the next way if you can't find any applications in those tools you need to go to getdep.net I'll provide the link in the description and this is a software bank where you search for applications you want so, if you want something like, um, let me see, uh, flock, no, I want Opera, the web browser, I want it, so I search it through this, I hit go, and it will load, hopefully, here, Opera, no, who cares, there's no Opera release for this. Um, since it's already available in add slash remove, I will download gscan to PDF. Download it from here. It will download an adept file, which is an executable application file, just like exe on Windows. But this is um, deb for Ubuntu uh, for Linux. So my download should start now. And after this has been downloaded, who cares about this? After this has been downloaded, um, all you need to do is double click on the application and then just click um, install application. So if um, I find an application, here I have transmission depth file, I double click here, and some of this. And pack it who will load up and there's an error message don't worry about that it when there's no error just click here install package this will install and it will appear in the applications menu to uninstall the app package go to system administration and do it under synaptic package manager by um, right clicking um, applications in um, green, ticked in green boxes, and then just um, right click and then go to mark for complete remo removal. So, if for demonstration, as I have already showed you, search for the application you want to uninstall. Ah, uh, I hate this. As you can see, it's in green. Right click, mark for complete removal, hit apply, bam, it's uninstalled. So that's really it for me on managing um, packages and applications. Thank you for watching. Thank you for asking. You can ask as many questions as you like. Thank you for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.